jail phone. Just like my father on my dog. And the millions of dollars and the millions of families have not bought that. And none of those trucks took your gold. Gay head. Took your land to gay head. Money was just way to survive jail or prison. Come on, man. Don't go. Give you credit up. Why you need credit? Then 12 years goes by and you don't even get a chance to go up for parole. We moved in pairs. Supposed to die so many times because that's my afterlife. A lot of shit ain't work for me. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man. This is Living Life After Life Podcast. I am Banky Pound and I am Troy Ketchmore. What up? What's going on, man? We out What's here. We out on? here. What's going on in the world today? Uh, What's in the well, news? The, 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 what they talking the about? Buzz. Well, one of the buzzes was uh, shout out to LSU women. They won the oh, national yeah, yeah, championship. Yeah, salute, salute. Uh, but you know, it don't come without some controversy. <laughs> uh, you know, Angel Reese, uh, LSU champion, threw up the the ring, man. I'm throwing it up, you know. But uh, I was uh, Caitlin Clark, you know. Uh, she threw it up as well. But they, you know, everybody. Well, not everybody, but some. Uh, media personalities said that Angel Reese was uh, disrespectful, you know? Yeah, and, uh, I heard a little something about it. They use uh, a little bit more harsher words than that, right? Yeah. And then for them to be professional. And then you heard it from, uh, you heard it from some big people name and, um, and, and, you know, in the sports business, man, you know, like Keith Overman, you know, he been on ESPN for probably 20 plus years. Yeah. And he, uh, he said some disrespectful stuff, man, and um, you know, also uh, the people who own Wallow and Gillies yeah, podcast. Yeah. He he said some disrespectful a POS, stuff. POS call her a piece of yeah, yeah, but he won't. Ish. He don't. Wallow and Gilly went and addressed the Jones said, made nah. it clear, say nah. they don't own nah. million dollars worth of game, but nah. they're in partnership yes. with them with licenses, you know, yeah, to, to, and distributing yes. and stuff, yes. but. Yes. You know, either way you look at it, though, it's like it's a it's a double standard because now um, the the girl, what her name, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark. See, yeah, she had did it. She, yeah, she, yeah, she, but in in in, in in all fairness, she's a competitor, you know. And in all fairness, man, she she might be the best player in college because yeah, she's, she's a, a fierce a, competitor. Ooh. I but, don't even think she took it to heart because she's a competitor. Right, she dish it. But they say she was doing it all year. But I would respect if she had came out. She right. she was supposed to come out and say, you know, no yeah, she no did foul. it. But yeah. I said she 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 earned the right to do it. They right, won. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. And and, and 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 it's no big deal. I mean, she won. She can do it. Right. You know, that's what I would respect. Expected her to come out and say. But it's a bigger issue because I don't want to get into what everybody already talked about. The bigger issue is always going to come down to the double standard dealing with race. Right. And we can never forget that this country was founded on racism, white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? And we was the, uh, 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 we was the laborers that built the country, you know. And years later, we fought and fought and fought, and we got certain things. But you're talking about a people that has 99% of the world's wealth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you're so, talking about 2023. We still dealing with, you know, foolishness like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I don't know whether or not I'm not, you know, fully sure whether or not, um, you know, Jill Biden said something. Um, no, nah, she said she uh, wanted to ask her, her, her husband, Joe, could he invite Iowa to the White House, too, because they play so hard, <laughs> you know, and. You know, she getting the backlash because that hasn't been the standard. And I also the champion comes from right, the White House. And I also heard um, you know, uh uh the L S U girls say that, you know, she wanted to come to their locker room but they refused. They she said because um, you know, Joe Biden didn't even have them on the bracket. Didn't, yeah. he, didn't even have him, you know, how the president picked the brackets. Yeah. So he didn't even have LSU in the bracket. They yeah. Didn't even think they would even get there. So they said they felt like that was, you know, disrespectful as well. Yeah. So when she wanted to come to the locker room to address them before the game, she said that the team, you know, uh, refused. They they passed on that. And that's look with me. That's cool. LSU, y'all won. For sure. Keep your head up. We live in a country that. You know, these type of things are going to happen again and again. As long as you have an imbalance in economics, living conditions, uh, 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 the judicial system, you're going to have these things happen in this country. 
Right. That's just the reality. So I don't know what reality or pipe dream people are looking for. I don't let it blow me. Man, you've been in prison. We've seen even in prison how white inmates get treated better than we do. Right. Uh, we may get a charge, get found guilty. They get the same charge so, and beat yeah. it. One of them uh, got the same charge. One of them got 100 years. The other one got 10. Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah it, it is what it so, is, man. Yeah. But you know. we, we got to start, you know, doing more of this, though, talking about it, putting it out there so it could get in people's conscience, man, and then let them decide what they're going to do with it. The only know? way the race conversation makes you feel uncomfortable is if you not you haven't dealt with it. Is if you haven't dealt with it, you haven't made peace with it, you haven't recognized, you know. And uh, it's sad, it's unfortunate, but this is the harsh reality of what we're dealing with. Sometimes sports and the cheering or, or, or the music takes you away from it. But then it's always going to be something that happens to remind you what you're dealing with. Absolutely. That it's still inequality and... Uh, like she said, she, she represent for young girls that look like her, represent for young women that look like you, be the bold one because I'm going to tell you, once you get to that level, it's so many of ours that don't stand up because they don't want to lose a few more million dollars. Right, right. You but, got people got a hundred million and they cowards because they don't want to lose a few million dollars. Right. You got more money that? than they can ever spend. Yeah. Or... You know. or or like Jay and them say, I don't be rapping about I be in the hood all day. That sounds stupid to me. Like, you do what you got to do to get out the hood. You get all this money, and then you still pushing that same garbage message to the people. And you got all this money. And they're going to be the crash dummies that suffer while you sitting in a mansion somewhere, man. Yeah, no you know? doubt. <laughs> Hundred percent way to survive jail or prison. Don't go. Give you credit up. Why you need credit? Seven, twelve years goes by and you don't even get a chance to go up for parole.